Ten years. Ten years. Well, we finally got it, so whatever. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. Zombie Land Double Tap, one of the best sequel titles like ever. Holy crap, that's such a good title. So Zombie Land Double Tap is the sequel to 2009's Zombie Land. Opinions on Zombie Land, real quickly. I think it is absolutely amazing. I I don't know if I'd call it amazing. I really love the first Zombie Land. I think it's entertaining, exciting, gory, and it's just great. It's all around great zombie film. And now we have Zombie Land Double Tap, the sequel. That's ten years after the first one. And in this film, a lot of things happen, but essentially, um, Little Rock, well, sh she's gone. Now they gotta find her. That's, that's all I'm gonna give you for the plot, because it's actually not really concise. Sorry, wait. <laughs> Overall, this was probably one of my most anticipated movies. This was, you know, this was one of the most anticipated movies of the rest of the year. Right behind Knives Out and The Rise of Skywalker. This, this is my most anticipated of October. I really could not wait for this film. I, I, like I said, I love the first Zombieland. This is a really movie I was really excited for. I went into this film really hoping to enjoy it. I had a bit of, I felt a bit skeptical going in, but I was overall thinking I would enjoy it. Now I've finally seen it, so let's talk about it. And the first thing I'll say about this movie is that this film, it, it's a Zombieland. It feels like Zombieland. It doesn't, this movie, it, it, it got the world very well. I think that all the acting in this film, all the actors really want to be here. They all understand what it is. It doesn't feel like anybody felt tired of the franchise when they were doing this. Like, like let's say, um, uh, Jesse Eisenberg was really entertaining in this film. Uh, I love Woody Harrelson. I love all of them in this movie. And I think that, like, a lot of sequels, they don't exactly, like, capture what's so good about the first one. That happens a lot, but I feel like this movie completely understood it. This movie is also really funny. Like, like it just is, like, it's the same writers, and it is the same director as the first one, so you're gonna have the same style of comedy, and generally this film, it feels like it is from the creators of the first one. It feels like it's behind the mind of the first one for the sequel to happen. And that's exactly, this movie doesn't do anything it shouldn't do. I feel like this film, Knew what it was, knew what it should do, and it did it. It did it well. Didn't do it perfectly. I don't think this film is nearly as good as the original, but I think this film still makes for a pretty entertaining time. I enjoyed this film a lot. But very first issue, kind of want to just the positives, and I'm going to come into an issue, is that this film felt very much like it was a... This film felt more like a return less than an expansion, now, that might absolutely make no sense. You might think, what are you talking about? This is what I mean. Um, if you've seen a film like Blade Runner 2049, brilliant masterpiece. The film is an expansion on the first Blade Runner. Not a sequel. It is a sequel, technically. But it doesn't feel like a return to the worlds of Blade Runner. Introduce this character back. Introduce this character. Like, no, it's, it's an expansion. It's a new story. Felt like, this, it felt like Blade Runner 2049 started with a story, then became a sequel. This film obviously started with the sequel and writing it this film is all about sequel because this is a sequel it's like the most sequel you get of a movie and is that a good thing or a bad thing in ways it's a good thing because this film this movie is not nearly as funny without the first one because it goes back to the first one it references gags and it's like a lot of jokes in this film almost felt like inside jokes for all the people who've seen the original and love the original it's like hey remember that and i like that in the film but without the first one this film is quite literally nothing. Like, without the original's brilliance, this film didn't really expand out of the original's box. It just kind of sticks in there. It's just like, return 10 years later to Zombieland. And that's all the film really does. It's just 10 years later in Zombieland. We see all the characters again. We see them go through what is technically a plot. That obviously, I don't really feel like anybody was that, in the script side of this, I don't think, I felt like the writers were so passionate about the comedy and them returning and the characters interacting. But it felt like when they came to the story and the setup, they were like, oh, whatever, just, we'll just write this down. And that's the problem with the film, is that it's a complete blast. It totally got what the original did right, but it doesn't, it's just a sequel. It's quite literally substanceless because without the original, it's nothing. It's not really anything without the original. And that... That hurts the film a lot. Now I'm going to get into some more positives. This film is one of those films that's very quotable. Like, like the first one, this film is very quotable. I think that I could look at this film and just be like, hey, yeah, that's a quote. Hey, I could quote that. 
Um, I don't think it's nearly as quotable as the first joke. God, I almost think I can end this review here because it's just like, hey, look, entertaining movie. It's a sequel. It's a good sequel. It is a sequel, though, and all it really has is the fact that it's a sequel and, like, the entire gag of the film was almost had a sequel. But, hey, you know, it's entertaining and fun as its own. So. Gets in the end, don't get me wrong. I really enjoyed Zombieland Double Top. I thought this was a solid sequel. I think it knew what the original did right. I think it did. It did everything well. It was entertaining. It had the characters. It had the heart. It had a pretty entertaining third act. All the action was good. All the gore was good. Just the main issues I have with this film is that it's not an expansion as much as it is a return. The entire film is based on that it's a return. It's very much stylized like the original. So if you enjoyed the original, you will really enjoy this movie. Just that... I think that we can get a 3, and I think if they really look at it, if they really make 3 good, because 3 won't really be a return because it's literally going to be like a couple of years after the Double Tap, but I really hope we get 3. I really want to see more. The film is also quite rushed at the same time, because it's literally, this movie didn't even be an hour and a half. That's one of these few times where I'm like, the runtime is too short, because, you know, something like, it Chapter 2 is way too long. This movie is way too short. This is half it Chapter 2's runtime. This movie can be an hour, 45 minutes to two hours. There's enough in there, and it felt like they cut character development. There's a lot of characters that just are like, hey, look, I'm on your side now. Why am I on your side? I don't know, but I am. I don't know. It's like there's some really weird character things in this movie. Little Rock, I'm just going to say, is just not consistent in this film at all. But at the end of the day, I still enjoy it. I still think it's a sufficient sequel to the original. And I'm going to give Zombieland Double Tap a 7 out of 10. If this was a 2, it would be very fitting. Um, don't have anything else to say. I enjoyed the film fine. I'm probably not going to think... I'm probably going to forget it, to be honest. It was entertaining, but it's just like... It's very fun, funny, entertaining. Just it's not going to really... It's not going to come up. You'll never hear me talk about this movie probably ever again, which sucks, but whatever. Um, yeah, see you guys next time. Uh, I think... It's really unsure what my next review will be, though, because I, I want to say it's the um, current war. I don't, also don't want to say that because I also want to see if Jojo Rabbit will play this weekend. Because it didn't play in my town this weekend, which really angered me, but it didn't. So I want to see if it plays this weekend. Probably want to hear it goes wide on the first. If it goes wide, even if it goes limited this next weekend, it'll be good enough for me. I don't know what'll happen. Um, I do really hope that I do see, I will see Jojo Rabbit. Absolutely, I will see it. I will find a way to see it. But it won't, I don't know when I'll see it, and I don't know what I'll see this weekend. Black and Blue comes out. I heard it wasn't very good. See you guys next, oh, Countdown. Maybe I'll see that. See you guys next time. Bye. Maybe I'll see Downton Abbey. I don't think I'll see that movie.